Hi, in this video we're going to look very briefly at things that are available to you through the Tools menu for Google Sheets. So let's take a look. Under Tools you do have a Create a Form option. Now this is similar to the Insert Form option that we looked at previously. And as I said, I tend to like myself to create the forms independently and create sheets from them. But so that you know there is an option to create uh, the form directly here. Um, you're still going to have to edit it, add the questions, but it will automatically be linked to a new sheet that's created um, within this spreadsheet. Script Editor refers to your ability uh, to program extra functionality into Google Sheets, but you need to know how to do that. That's an entire separate course or more, um, but you can extend the capabilities of Sheets if you know how to write the code to do it. There's a spell check, which functions just as the other spell checks and all the other Google products do. Um, enable autocomplete. You can turn this on or off, but it's going to um, kind of predict as you're typing based on what you've previously typed and uh, try to help you out by, by making suggestions or filling in suggestions um, so that you don't have to type the remainder of the content in that cell. Okay, next feature is notification rules. Now, you can set this so that you're um, notified, excuse me, at the Gmail address or, you know, Gmail account that you're using for it if any changes are made to this form or if a user submits a form. And that can be very useful. If you do have a Google form out there that's sending data to a spreadsheet and you set this, you're just going to get an email when somebody fills it out. Now, if you've set up a form and told students they must complete it between date A and date B, this may not be necessary because you know when to expect the data. But if you have a form up there for comments or things that might be filled out more infrequently, I would strongly recommend that you do that. Now you can choose to either have this sent as a daily digest, so at a certain point in the day it will take, uh, it will send you one notification whether a single person has entered through data through a form into the sheet or whether a hundred have, or you can say just every time it happens please email me. So if this is something that's very infrequent you could set it there, but you can also manage your time by, by making it a daily digest regardless. Okay. Also under tools is the ability to protect the sheet. Uh, the sheet. So you have to give that a name. Uh, and then you have to set the permissions. So right now this can be restricted only to me. So if I give other people access to this, they can look at it, but they can't make any changes to it. Um, or I could simply have a warning appear um, when, when changes are made. The other thing that I can do is that I can set it up to be custom. So I can have specific editors in here who can um, edit particular ranges or the entire sheet. Okay, so you can see that it's uh, over here under protected sheets and ranges. If I come back to tools and say protect sheet, I can set this for particular ranges. So I can say that, okay, you know, all this information I want people to be able to add to, but I don't want them to be able to mess with this formula. So, so I'll just call that formulas. Instead of it being a sheet, uh, sheet, I'll say it's a range, and right now it's telling me that it's D6. I don't want that. There you go. So now it's uh, I22 that's protected, although it doesn't have to be. I could easily select a range, and it would put, the, it put that in there. And I can say OK. I can set the permissions on this range, and that works the same way as that I can restrict how people can edit and who are the people who can edit. Now, once I get these done, I've got two separate uh, protections on this sheet. If I decide I don't want them anymore, I simply click on it, and then I can click the trash can. Now, something that I 
didn't check before, this is the World Cup sheet, so the entire sheet that's protected. If I click accept certain cells, I can select groups of cells. I'm going to hold a control key to do non-adjacent selecting. And now you can see that there are certain ranges of cells that are accepted from this, that are, or are exceptions to this protection. Okay, but I'm just going to delete the whole thing. Right now, this will be an unprotected sheet. Now you can actually use protection to protect the sheet from yourself. So if you've created something, and I often do this in Excel, um, you can also do it in Google Sheets. If I've got something that's got very complex formulas in it that really are set and don't need to be adjusted, I may uh, protect those cells in particular so I can't accidentally overwrite them. Also under tools is a personal dictionary. So if you're doing a spell check um, and it finds mistakes, you can you can add those mistakes, or if they're not mistakes, let's say that it's a brand, a trade name or something, or it's some text that you actually want included that it keeps flagging in your spell check, you can have that added to your personal dictionary and then it won't be uh, flagged as a mistake anymore. Okay, and that really covers the um, basic tools that are available to you through Google Sheets. In our next video, we'll look at add-ons and help.